make a sock bunny family or just one sock bunny for Easter or any time of the year, just need to gather together the things that you need. So you're going to want to choose a sock. I've got some newborn socks and I've got some, they say they're two to three year old socks, but they're really quite big and quite long. Far too long, but that's fine. We can just chop them off. So you just take whichever sock you're going to do. I'm going to do a baby one because it's particularly cute. Uh, and then it's really helpful to have a roll. So I've got the bigger roll for the bigger sock and just a, a roll of washi tape. This one, so put the sock through, stretch it over, open it up, then get your rice. You want to really pack it in. It doesn't matter if you put too much in because you can always empty it out. With the newborn socks, I go past the heel so I've put plenty of rice in. Now to stop the rice coming out while I make the bunny shape, I just put an elastic band around the end to stop it from coming out. So you don't have to be perfect. Okay, so you've got the beginnings of your bunny. Then you need some embroidery um, thread and you're going to need the scissors. So take a length of thread you're going to do the bunny's tummy. You're going to make the body first. So where's the heel? The heel's here. I'm going just below the heel and oh. I'm going to pull it really, really tight. Jiggle it around to make sure there's no rice in that bit, turn it over, cross it again, and do a double knot. Okay, so there is your bunny's body. Now it's time to do the bunny's head. So you need another piece of thread. And then make the head whatever size you want. You can always adjust it. So I'm going to go for this for now. Quite like those proportions. Again, super tight. Give it a wiggle. Make sure there's not a piece of rice in your sort of seam area. Once again. Okay, now bring your bowl of rice back. Empty it out. So now you have your bunny and its ears. Okay, then take your glue. I've just used some Bostic white glue and a brush. And I'm just very haphazardly going to put some in the ears just to help it stay together. Okay. There's our bunny, we just need to do her ears now. So I'm gonna make them about this long. And then just, oh, it's a bit tricky, but you've got to just shape the ears. There's one. There's two. So there's my bunny. Now, take your piece of ribbon, 
tight around your bunny's middle. With these little ones, I haven't done a full bow on all of them. I might do on this one. Okay. There's my bunny. And I'm just going to do a little cross nose and two little eyes. There's my little Easter Bunny. Fred again. Want a nice long piece. Go around the middle or wherever you want the middle to be. Super tight, give it a wiggle. Now time for the head. So this one's got the really defined heel. So I'm gonna put that at the back. So I'm gonna to go to the top of there, which is quite good because it's that's the amount I've filled. Don't worry if it's not looking right at this point because I always adjust it. It depends on the sock. These have got a really defined heel and so these ears go backwards a bit and I quite like that. There we go. So, take off my elastic band. Excess rice back in. Okay. So, here's my bunny. I'm going to decide where I want the head to be. So, I think I'm going to have it like that. Or we could adjust it and have the ears at the top. Doesn't really matter, you can do it however you like. So you can have ears this way or ears going down the back. I'm going to have ears on the top on this one. 